Jason here with uh, Production Voices. We're taking a look at Concert Grand and the external ambisonics. So the first thing we're going to do, um, you can use the DAW of your choice. I'm showing you this in Logic. So we're going in, I'm choosing Contact as the software instrument, and I'm going to choose Multi Output 16 Mono. And then only one track. We'll add it in. And let's make it nice and big so you can see it. I have to go in and quickly and grab the preset and drag it over. So just give me a second to do that. I'm using a beta version of the software, so it's not quite finding all the samples and so on at the moment as I'm still working on these samples. So I will remove the version number on it just so that it looks something like what yours will look like. And there we go. So that's concert grand. So uh, with this, what we need to do next is to set up the multi outputs first in the DAW, I believe. Um, we, I'm going to select in the output. So let me show you where the outputs are in contact. So there are the outputs. I'm going to select the outputs again, and I'm going to select over here. But before I add these, I'm going to make sure that on my mixer page, I add the channels that I need. So this is going to be contact one, two, three, four. And for some reason, this goes from four to seven instead of three to six, but it is what it is. So I've got these channels set up and now I'm going over into contact and adding some channels. So I'm selecting my second group. I'm going to say, how many do I want? I want four channels. How many channels, number of channels in each is only one because this is WXYZ and mono, uh, single channel format anyways. And then uh, where do we want them to start from? So you're starting from that first, uh, that channel three, whatever your channel three assignment is. Clicking OK, and there we go. There's a mono three, four, five, six, and now I can assign the outputs, when I turn on ambisonics, I'm going to turn down these other mic perspectives. I can even turn them off if I wanted to. And with the ambisonics, we're going to go in and uh, let's change this from internal to external as it loads the samples. So there it is, external. Should be no problem now. I need to go back and see why I'm not getting any playback on this. So let's see, it's playing it, but the volume is turned down. That's why. Okay. And then the other thing that we have is right away you'll hear the clipping happening. So with the clipping, I just want to go in and turn down the volume. So over here, I'm going to mute the first channel. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm going to label these. They start in order with W, X, Y, and Z. I'm going to color them while I'm here. So I've got them. You don't have to color. I just like to keep things organized. We have to choose the outputs. I'm going to choose the outputs to a bus, and then I'm going to reassign the bus to be surround so that we can have multiple channel bus, a multi-channel bus. So this doesn't show me quad. It just shows me surround. So then that gives me what I need. And then over here with the audio effects, I'm going to choose my Ambisonics plugin. So in this case, I'm going to use the sound field free surround zone too. You could use Harpex if you have the license for it or any other free Ambisonics or commercially available ambisonics for that matter. Uh, so now that we have those set up, what I want to do is solo the channels after I drag them down. And so you can see that this was clipping earlier. So I'm going to take this down minus six dB so that we're not clipping. I'm going to select just my W channel and I'm going to play it. And what I want over here on the interface is to make sure that I pan this in a way that I only get the W channel. So, so I'm panning and I don't want any Y in there. And I'm going to solo the next one, which is my X. Let's get it over into the X area. Perfect. Am I getting a little Z as well? Okay, that's good. Uh, y, same thing. We will get it down. And let's move over to Z. And for some reason, in surround, sound, surround zone, uh, the Z channel is quiet here. It requires the other mics to be active in order to hear it. So there we go. I think that's it. I think we've got everything going. Let's see if the logic is kind of a power hog on this plugin, but now you can hear as I get you dizzy moving around in the opposite direction. I can spin you towards the room. I can recenter the room. I'm going to 
to save a little bit of CPU by just turning off the, in the settings, I can go back and turn off the sympathetic resonance. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that we can see all the interface. Looks good. That's uh, everything in Logic. How to set it up. You can still add other instruments and play them or add this as you go through. It's just that surround sound buzz. Notice that in Logic it still gives you stereo output, so if you're listening on headphones, it still does that uh, stereo effect instead of surround sound. We're only using surround in order to get the four channels of the WXYZ into it. There you go. Logic not being nice again. So you can change these around, select them however you like. And you can also change polar patterns, width and polar patterns. There you go, you can go fully card, fully uh, get into Omni a little bit. So there you go, there's the ambisonic setup.